Several signs can tip you off to the fact that someone is misusing your child's personal information and committing fraud. Fox 44's Jonah Gilmore reports on how someone could be using your child's identity right now and you may not even know it. Identity theft can happen to anyone and as adults, it's easy to spot it. Banks and theft prevention companies notify you when it occurs. But scammers are also targeting your children. Parents, you're not, you may watch your own credit score and you may watch that, but you may not realize that you should do that with your children as well. Thieves are not only looking for paper trails to steal your kid's identity. While your children are surfing the web or playing popular internet games, criminals are targeting them waiting for the moment they insert valuable information. They'll ask you questions or they'll be like cute little surveys, like what's the name of your first dog or where did you go to elementary school or what town were you born in? If you stop and think about it, those are probably all the answers to security questions that you have set on your passwords. And so it's real easy for people to use those to get into accounts. According to a 2018 child identity fraud study, more than 1 million children in the U.S. were victims of identity theft or fraud. More than two-thirds of those victims were age 7 or younger, and 6 in 10 child victims personally knew their perpetrator. Your kids may be online and think nothing of putting their social security number in somewhere, and then that can very easily get their social security numbers to be stolen and have their identity stolen. It is something that they should be aware of and that they should look into. Experts say to protect your child's identity, find a safe location for all papers and electronic records that show your child's personal information. Never share your child's social security number unless you know and trust the other party, whether it be in person or online. You should also shred all documents that show your child's personal information. If you think your child's information is at risk, check to see if your child has a credit report. If so, you can contact the businesses where the fraud occurred, contact the credit bureaus, and even consider a child credit freeze. Reporting in the newsroom, Jonah Gilmore.